How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another NHL 13 shootout commentary. And I'm going to do a Stanley Cup edition shootout commentary. I used the Boston Bruins last time. I'm going to use the Chicago Blackhawks this time. And I'm so glad that the series has gone to four games. Uh, well, tied 2-2 uh, two -two after four. I want it to be a competitive uh, series. And I felt like if the... Uh, what's I should have gone from the bottom up. I felt like if the Boston Bruins won game four, they are gone up 3-1 in the series. It was over. It was over like over. Chicago might have won game five, but uh, I don't know, man. Corey Crawford, he's looking shaky. I'm not saying he's a bad goalie. Please don't get on my ass for that. I know he's he's had moments that he's been playing amazing. Uh, who else am I missing here? Uh, Sharp. Yeah, Patrick Sharp. There you go. Uh, Corey Crawford, there you go, right? But uh, that last game, game four, I mean, what a shootout that was. But, man, it really just, Crawford can come back. I'm not getting on him, right? But it just felt like that game, it was everything was going glove side on him. When it was 5-4, when Patrick Sharp made it 5-4, to four, I was like, freaking Chicago, man. They just won't let up here. What's going on? Like, the Boston Bruins, usually that strong defensive team, especially coming off the Pittsburgh series, right? Uh, not allowing, like, what, more than two goals. And in this one, it was just like Patrick Sharp, Sharp scores. And then Johnny Boychuk, later on in the game, Johnny Boychuk gets it on the blue line. And I'm thinking, that's a goal. It's a goal glove side before he even shoots it, right? It was just that kind of confidence that I had thinking about Corey Crawford. Sure enough, the puck goes in. So, I don't know. I think it's going to be a good series. But I think Boston's going to take it because of the goaltenders. Now, hang on here. Pat, uh, Patrick Kane. Let's just do a nice little dragger, baby. Oh, he didn't get fooled. He didn't get fooled. I should have done a nice deke with Patrick Kane. You know what? I was too worried about uh, talking about the finals. I'm doing that too much lately in my shootout commentaries. I'm going to just focus on the freaking the shootout itself, okay? So here we go. Claude Giroux. Flying poke check Rooney. I think so. I think so. What do you got for me, son? What do you got for me, son? You got nothing for me, son. You got nothing. He tried to go around. Grab that Crawford. There you go. You got it. No problem. No problem. Get out of here, Claude. Go have fun playing golf. <laughs> When's the last time a Leaf fan's been able to say that? Yeah, I know we got kicked out in the first round, but still... Got that first round in there. Jonathan Taves. Oh, big tip in goal there in game four. Uh, Left-handed player. Let's do the uh, Zetterberg with Taves. A nice Canadian doing a Swedish move. A super Canadian. Oh, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Only a super sweet can handle the puck like that. Taves, nice try, but it's just it's not going to happen, man. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Those damn backhanders. You know, I actually slipped in NHL 08 the other day. Backhanders are so awesome in that game. I was using Matt Sundin. Picking the top cheese with my backhand. It was awesome. Come on, Al Crawford. What do you got for me? Windmill! Windmill! Oh, he went five hole! Super hole! Oh, he caught me. He caught me thinking. I was thinking as soon as he did the windmill, I should have done the flying poke check, but I didn't do it. And then I'm thinking in my head, oh, 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 what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do you got me? Yeah, I, I st yeah, he got me. He got me. I stood back up. Ah, I should have done the flying poke check. Right as he did that windmill, should have done the flying poke check. All right, what we got? Marion Hosa. All right, another lefty. Let's do a uh, through-the-legs one-handed windmill. I always mess this one up, but let's just try it. Why not, shall we? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Oh! He didn't even do the right animation, but it found the hole. Good job, Hosa. That's what I'm talking about. Even if he only has one shoulder or one leg, what is it? He's got, like, a groin or knee injury, something like that. Chicago, man, they need Hosa to wake up. They do. I'm not saying that he's playing bad, but they need all those fi They need as much firepower as they can get. Boston will just shut them down. And the thing about Boston, man, they can score with the best of them, too. So Chicago wants to win. They got to keep scoring on Rask like they did in game four. What you got for me, son? What you got for me, son? Look at these 45 cuts. No, no, fake. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You thought it was going to happen, Voracek. Not on my watch. All right, Crawford comes out there and uh, just like that. Glove save. Try that backhander on me. I don't think so. I'll show you what I was doing with uh, Matt Sundin in NHL 08, right? Uh, right-handed player. Yeah, that works. Matt Sundin's right-handed. All right, so I was coming up like this. I was deking on my right hand and then just wham! But it still comes out forehand in this game. God damn it. Ah, this damn game. The NHL 08 animation for the backhand was better. And don't worry, in the NHL 13 review, I'll show that to you guys. Literally, I'm picking cheese with uh, Matt Sundin on the backhand on a breakaway. It's awesome. All right, now, what you got for me, Wayne Simmons? What you got for me, huh? Yeah, I'm thinking he's, he, I'm thinking he's thinking flying poke check, but he's thinking wrong. Get out of here! Oh! Yeah, when you have no speed, I'm not going to miss. Come on, what did he try to do, 5-hole again? I think he did. Woo! Got lucky. Got lucky. All right, so what I'm shooting, yeah, I'm shooting first, so the superb man shot's not going to not gonna work in this one. But we can try it. We can try it. Why not, right? Patrick Sharp, uh, right-handed player, so I got to go to the right side. All right, here we go. Here we go. Superb, man. Oh, that was wrong. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, he did it! Oh! That <laughs> uh, wouldn't have worked. I know, I know. God damn it, man. It's never going to happen. What have we done? We've gone through NHL 12, NHL 13 now. Come on, man. It's never going to freaking happen. Matt Reed, what do you got for me? Uh, let's do the Dirty Bird. Let's keep this baby going with the Dirty Bird, shall we? Look at this. Look how slow he goes. Like, come on. NHL 13. Blow the whistle. 
Is he done shooting yet? Come on, man. That's basically going backwards. All right. I mean, did you guys hear that they're taking out the uh, spinorama for the NHL? Well, I heard that. I didn't. Not a hundred percent sure. I heard it through the grapevine, which is a good move, which is a good idea because some of the spinoramas are good, but you can't tell me some of them they haven't gone backwards. All right. So here we go. Oh, oh, Garbajowski spinorama. Oh, Carcillo with the Garbajowski spinorama. Jesus, didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't. I really didn't think that would work. Whatever though. Uh, oh, damn, yeah, I got a score and then save the win. Ah, uh, Fedotenko. Ruslan, what do you got for me? I want to do the Dirty Bird, but this guy's going to beat me if I do the Dirty Bird. I know it. Oh! <laughs> well, thank you, Crawford. I didn't even move. The game, oh, Jesus Christ. I wasn't anticipating. I wasn't doing anything. And he just stretches like that. Jesus, Crawford. Vesna Trophy much? All right, here we go. Michael Hanzus. Uh... Let me show why his name is Hand Zeus. Because he has hands like Zeus! Oh, never mind. Uh, well, Zeus has got hard hands, I guess, but couldn't just force it by Briz right there. His black hole freaking sucked it up. God damn it. All right, we're going to round seven here. I got to save it again. Yeah, we can start skipping some of these uh, animations. It's taking too long. Uh, dirty Bird time. Dirty Bird! Oh, what a save! Oh, it's in the net! No! Oh, it didn't count? No, 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 no. Corey Crawford threw it into the net. It's just the... The, uh, the modern-day selly for the goalies, man. No, 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 that's not a goal. Into the net. That's what it would have looked like, but it's not a goal. <laughs> Johnny Oduya. All right, super sweet time. Here we go. Uh, it didn't work with Jonathan Taze, but Oduya is a fellow Swede. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sweet! Oh, my God, did he miss more than Taze? Oh, did that hit the paddle or did that go straight into the corner? Oh, uh, I can't tell from that angle. Can I see another angle? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Scotty Hartnell. Hartnell down. What are the odds that he falls on his ass? Oh, shit! Never mind! <laughs> God damn you, Hartnell. He picked that. He picked that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Scott Hartnell with no dreads comes in and just rifles it on the net. Whoa, was I moving backwards as he shot? Was that the problem? Let's see. Yeah, I'm moving back. When he shoots it, oh, yeah. I pulled the lung fist. As soon as he shot it, I'm like right on my goal line. Oh, yeah, that should go in. No doubt about it. But the, the save of the game, I got to go back to that. Holy shiza Beniza. This is what's wrong with this game, man. The Superman freaking goalies. I swear to Christ, I was not even anticipating. I was doing nothing. I was holding down. What was I doing with my stick? Hang on. Let me just, uh, yeah, I was doing nothing. I wasn't butterfly. Let me see what I did. Let's see. I didn't do anything. I didn't butterfly. I didn't anticipate. And look what my goalie does for me. I mean, thank you. It works for me. But <laughs> Jesus. Gee, like right into the glove. What a save. Save of the year candidate. <laughs> oh, good job, Crawford. Well, you know what? That's a perfect segue to end it. Because if Crawford can play like that for the remaining three games, Chicago can win it. But that's what it's going to come down to. Crawford versus Rask. And I want to put this to you guys. If you had to choose one goalie right now to play one game right now, tonight, who would it be? Crawford or Rask? And there's your answer right there. I would take Rask, and so I'm taking Boston. All right? I'm sorry. I know I'm a Leaf fan, but I got to go with the Boston Bruins. It's a smart choice. All right? So there you go, boys. For Johnny Superman and the Great Domsky, take it easy, and we'll see you next time.